All right, we're going to Deuteronomy chapter 31. Uh, I'll start it on in verse 20. All right, it says, For when I shall have, uh, excuse me, it says, For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers that milk and honey, see, the land will be filled with milk and honey, see, the land that they swear unto the fathers, all right, that flow with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and wax fat. See, they go wax fat just like it is now. And then will they turn unto other gods and serve them. See, that's what they are doing now. They'll turn into other god and serve them and provoke me provoke me and break my covenant. See, that's what the Lord was saying. See, like now the people are wax fat. And they're turning away from God. See, this is what the Lord said would happen then. They're going to happen again. That's where it is now. They wax fat and they turn against God, away from the Lord. They don't want nothing to do with God now. Because they're saying that they don't need God. Because they have everything they want to. Go back like the people in the 50s. In the 60s, how all the women and men, they were slim. They weren't fat. You couldn't hardly find any fat people. Now that's all you see. See, because they had plenty to eat, plenty of food. They had restaurants, stuff at every corner. You know, even the churches must be at every corner of the street. They are wax fat. And they don't want nothing to do with God anymore. They serve other God, homosexual, transgender, same-sex marriage, adultery, fornication. They do all that. And they don't want nobody to tell them nothing. You know, abortion, all that. They're crying out about abortion. I got right. This is my body and all that. See, they are wax fat. When they wax fat, they turn away from God, saying that they don't need God no more. They have plenty of food to eat and all that. Because you can go back when God, and I think it was in Numbers chapter 11, you know, when the people, you know, they wanted flesh, God rained down quail down to them. So, before the food got in their mouth, God, God slew them, the fattest of them. See, that's the way it is now. You know, everybody got fat. You know, and they don't be want to serve the Lord no more. You know, saying that they don't need God. Yeah, I'm going to read it over again. So far. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their father that flowing with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxed fat, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me. You see, the Lord said they're going to serve other gods and provoke him, you see, and break my covenant. You see, this is what the people are doing now at the end time. And they won't repent, you know, no matter what you say. It's like about abortion, same-sex marriage, homosexuality, transgender, you know, all that. They won't repent. The Bible said they won't repent. You know, that's why God is punishing them. See, and they don't understand. That's why all the evil are coming upon us. 
you know, trouble, evil, this. Like in verse uh, 21, it said, It shall come to pass when many evils and troubles, you see, are befall, befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness, for it shall be, and I mean, excuse me, for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouth of their seed. That's why the preachers always say that, you know, things be happening, you know, the preacher that understands God's word, things that be happening, it's like now nah, we're having tornadoes and all that stuff, hurricane, you know, a lot of tornadoes and stuff, tying up flood, fire, and all of this, like in Canada, I had all that fire in Canada. The smoke coming to the U.S. and all that stuff, you know. Because it's our sin. This is why. You have to understand that. And be talking about climate change. There's no climate change. God putting on the heat upon us because of our sin. That is why all these things is happening. You have to understand that. Go back and read God's word in the Old Testament. And we'll tell you. you, know, you have to understand God's word. And read it so you can get an understanding. And ask God for wisdom. But this is why all it will happen up on us. They say it shall come to pass that when evils and trouble are befall them. You see? that this song shall, shall testify against them as a witness, for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouth of the sea. For I know the imagination which they go about even now before I have brought them into the land which I swear. See? See, this is what God is saying. See, this is what going to happen. This is what happening to the people now. It happened over and over to them. When they wax fat, you know, they sin against God. You know, saying that they don't need God. You know, commit adultery, fornication, homosexuality, all this stuff. You know, imagine most everything in, that come to their mind, they be doing. That's why. I, World is filled with violence now and corruption. The women don't want to obey the men no more. Their husband or nothing. You know, all that started mostly you start seeing it back in the fifties and sixties. You know, and like in the seventies, eighties and stuff, they start getting fat, waxing fat. You can go back and look at those old films. All those women. They used to wear dresses and they all were slim back then. All the men were slim. You know, we had laws. We didn't have our girls committing fornication and the boys committing fornication. And we would make the boys marry a girl when they would have sex or be dating that girl. You know, this is what God's law. There are a lot of preachers and prophets that don't understand that. You have to obey God's law. See, but now they're saying, oh, I don't have to marry you, I got rights. You know, you don't have no rights. You have to obey God's law. Only right you have what God tell you what you're supposed to have. You know, that's why we're having all those children all of wedlock and have invited in the land. You no know, one thing lead to another. And you know, Consider it, you know, why we have fallen as children and all that. But they don't want to consider it. But this is what I wanted to bring to y'all today, to y'all to get y'all to understand. You have to obey. It's like I say, a man can have more than one wife if you don't put the first wife, like David and all of them. A lot of these preaching and prophets, they can't see that. Now you go back to the Old Testament where God gave the law, you have to follow that. You can't look for what happening happening now. This is why it's happening now. 
all them girls, those men doesn't want those women wants to be on the head. Three, four kids, two, three kids from other men, all different men. That's why God says you're supposed to make them matter. This is the law, you know. So we won't have that problem. All them children out of weird law, you know. And that lead to violence, destruction. This is what I'll be trying to show y'all. You know, go back to God's word. It's like in, uh, I think it's in Exodus chapter 22. You know, they tell you about it was supposed to make them marry like a, a boy with, the, you know, date a girl. Like in Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16, it said, a man, if a man entice a maid that is not be true, I mean, she's not engaged, and lie with her, he shall surely endure her to be his wife. See? That's what we used to do right here in America when I was little. But we don't, don't want to obey that no more. See? This is the problem. A lot of girls be having five, six kids from all different fathers. You think that makes sense? You know, that become the girl to be a whore. That's why the Bible called them a whore. You can't do that. You know, you're not supposed to be doing that. You can do anything you want, but it's wrong. You know, you have to obey God's word. You know, so everything can be in decency and order, run peacefully. Because otherwise it lead to trouble, violent in the long run, evil will befall you, you know, in the long run, trouble. That's why we're having all this trouble, you know. You can't solve the problem like that. I tell you, go back to God's way, you know, these laws and commandments. And say, if her father utterly refused to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the diary of a virgin. You see? See, father refused to give the God to marry his daughter. You know, and the God got to pay the father. See, God didn't want the girls just to go around having the same boys and girls. That have. That's why I tell you in the New Testament, not touch a woman for fornication. See, you have to understand that. Go back how God set up the law, how he gave what he gave Moses to give to the people. If a man would force a, a virgin woman, they call it rape now, a man would force it, it would make them marry. See, Pastor Dow is right about that, you know. You know, all the time, Deuteronomy chapter 22, you just read it for yourself. It would make them mad. You know, a lot of people don't understand it. They don't want to accept God's word no more. You know, this is why we fall into sin. You have to obey. You have to make those boys and girls mad, you know. When they have get having sex together, and Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two and verse, uh, I think it verse twenty-eight. If a man find a dancer that is a virgin which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the dance of father fifty shackles of silver, and she sh shall be his wife, because he had humbled her. See, he had forced her to have sex, you know, like raped her. He may not put her away all his days. See, that's the word of God. You may not like it, but your ways, your thoughts are not God's ways, your ways, and your thoughts are not his thoughts. He set the law for mankind. Whether you like it or not, you have to obey God's word. You know. Can't listen to preachers, prophets, and all that. You have to follow God's word. That's why we're having all this trouble now. You know. 
about the girls having two or three babies from all different men and all that. You're supposed to make the girl marry. Boys and girls make them marry. Like we used to do here a long time ago in America. We got away from the Word of God. This is why we're having all this trouble. But this is what I wanted to bring to y'all. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of His Word. Thank y'all.